All right, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Tuesday afternoon, 10 10 2023, about 6 p.m. California time here. Quick update 6.4 earthquake coming into the area around Afghanistan. Looks like about 10 kilometers deep. Pretty large earthquake, pretty shallow. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick from the EMSC. Nothing coming in yet from the USGS. This is preliminary data from about eight minutes ago. Uh, looks like it's downgraded slightly to 6.3. Source parameters provided by the folks there in Germany. USGS again has not picked up on this. Uh, it is uh, looks like it's for the most part fairly limited on terms of where bigger cities reside. Let's back out of here a little bit. This is in Western Afghanistan once again. Uh, a little on the odd side. This is kind of where that uh, one earthquake struck out here. Oh, has it been within the last week, I think? Uh, some reports coming in here south of the area. Looks like maybe some largely felt to potentially close to the damaging, moderate damaging category here from at least from this vicinity, which is a little way south of the epicenter of this earthquake. Uh, now, again, USGS not picking up on it. But I do want to show you guys the last week or so, we did see some larger scale movement out here where this earthquake is, uh, where the recent one striking uh, earlier, a couple days ago, about three days ago, we've seen a 6.3, 5.5, 6.3 and a 5.9, quite a bit of larger scale activity kicking up out here. So this would make it, uh, if this is a 6.3, that would tie the... Uh, the number one magnitude out here for this area, this region does not see a lot of historical data. Let me show you guys, or historical quakes, I should say. Here on the historical data map, look at this key right here. There's only been a handful of smaller quakes, specifically in this area of Western Afghanistan. So something's still brewing out here. Uh, these are 4.5 and above, or 4.5 to 5.0, those little circles where the 6.3 and the 6.3 struck, and uh, probably where the 6.3 struck today. Uh, as you can see, most of the activity in Afghanistan is going to be here across the subduction zone area and also over in eastern Iran. Iran. Uh, so things are still a little on the interesting side here as far as what's going on in this area. I think it does have to play a part on the uh, extreme pressure out here along the western edge of the Pacific Plate. The Izu Swarm has stopped um, and so has the Krokamchaka area, but... Uh, just kind of watching this. I think there's something bigger brewing, or at least in the works here, as uh, far as larger scale activity, potentially 8.0 or higher, uh, whether it's in this region of Afghanistan or maybe in this middle point here, somewhere out here between the Izu Trench and the Afghanistan area. Uh, I think you got, got to look at the uh, potentials out here. There's been a couple areas that are overdue in as far as large movement goes. Uh, right around Nepal area, up along this area of the plate boundaries, definitely overdue for some larger scale movement. Um, so let's see here. I don't think I have any seismograph stations in that area, but we are getting a little blip of it uh, in the uh, Thailand area. This is a seismograph station there. Uh, I'll, I'm pretty certain that we'll see some S waves from this earthquake traveling across to the other distant seismograph stations. Now, whether they upgrade it, downgrade it, who knows? Uh, let me go back here and refresh this, make sure I got the most recent map data. So it looks like they've, almost looks like they re-updated this to a 6.4. So a little bit of bouncing back and forth. That's gonna be the, the idea here for a little bit until you know they settle with the correct magnitude or at least the uh, agreeable magnitude of what it was. But it looks like right now 6.4 earthquake um, in western Afghanistan. Now possibly that could be a larger quake because that's a rather large P wave to be hitting the Thailand area at that distance. This could be a, a larger quake than a 6.4. I'm not really seeing any other waves coming in here. Uh, but it looks like that's the closest area uh, to that uh, primary wave 
And of course, the S waves will follow that primary wave in the, in the form of a more wavier pattern. But uh, yeah, Western Afghanistan to the Thailand area, that's a that's a couple thousand miles away there. So nothing coming up yet on the USGS map. Uh, either way, definitely some type of larger scale movement taking place there in Western Afghanistan. We will cover this and more a little bit later on this evening, folks. Uh, still showing 6.3 on the globe there. Uh, now it's back up to 6.4 after the most recent update. I think it might be just a little bit larger. Uh, if it is, if it gets downgraded or upgraded, I will include that in the uh, title of this update video. For now, we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on this evening with the Tuesday night earthquake update. There we go. USGS finally uh, reporting in on that. They're reporting a 6.3. Pretty shallow. That may have something to do with that primary wave showing up uh, at a distance. It has been reviewed by a seismologist. Um, so we'll just we'll go with a 6.3 or 6.4. Take your pick. All right, folks. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on this evening. Have a good one and stay safe out there.